So it looks like GB News, the platform that Dan Wilson is still left to be on, is being faced with a significant amount of cases that have re-erupted and they are absolutely awful. So now it makes sense to me, guys. They have faced significant allegations. Significant. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. I would really appreciate it. Click that button and subscribe. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video. GB News top boss faced sexual harassment allegations as channel paid to shut down institutional racism claims. Byline is reporting in their ninth part of their investigation. GB News settled an employment claim for a five-figure sum in which sexual harassment was alleged against its chief executive, Angelos Frango Poulos, and shut down serious racism and bullying allegations raised by two other journalists with further payouts and gagging agreements, Byline Times can reveal. And in two separate workplace incidents involving other GB News executives, a woman went on sick leave after allegedly being told she was so ugly she should put a bag on her head and that she should open her legs to win a promotion. Rather than taking legal action, she said to have quietly left her job in disgust. And I think that they leave in quiet because they are threatened, they get upset, they're scared, and they don't know what to do because of abusive, powerful tactics. GB's position is that it doesn't have a toxic workplace culture, which I find quite interesting. The claim naming Mr. Frango Poulos, a married father of five, made allegations that he propositioned and declared feelings for a female member of staff in a late night phone call after work during the 2021. Having been rebuffed, Mr. Rang Frangopoulos then allegedly undermined and marginalized the woman in her role before she left and got employment lawyers to negotiate a settlement with the channel. Byline Times can understand that GB News has never received a formal internal complaint against Mr. Frangopoulos. Well, obviously, one being the chief executive. The second payout centered on allegations of racial discrimination and breaches of the Equality Act Trust. The journalist who complained had been exposed to several thousand racist emails from some of the right-wing channel's viewership, including around 800 featuring shock, shocking racial content from a single individual. And I'm not even going to read out some of the stuff that he received, guys, because it's absolutely insane. And there was also no human resources review internally in order to show any compliance as well. Am I surprised, guys? Really, really, um, I'm really not surprised, guys. A third payout was made to a journalist of color who complained of racial discrimination from a GB News executive as well, but was accused of overreacting um, to what they felt was preju prejudicial treatment during a meeting. Interesting, 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 guys. His N NUJ rep, Martin Shipton, told Byline Times it was an absolutely disgraceful case. I have never seen or heard anything like it. Any self-respecting newsroom would have dismissed such an email out of hand and instead it was used to get rid of this employee, which is absolutely shocking. In other two incidents of alleged sexual harassment, which did not lead to threats of legal action, this newspaper has learned that a female colleague was told to open her legs in order to advance her career. And there was a prism of sexism, a very hostile environment where if you're going to get on as a female presenter, you have to put up with being a sidekick with just very few, you know, exceptions. I don't think this applies to like the top presenters at, at GB News, but I'm sure it um, applies to the majority of them. Um, I'm not really surprised now, guys. It seems like there's a strong sense of weak management for why Dan Woodson has not left yet, considering all of this and the chief executive and all of this being... Byline Times are really coming through thick and thin, through the woodworks with all of this investigations that they're doing on Dan, explaining why he still has his job there, regardless of so many people speaking out, because where he works is far worse than probably what he is. I know that some people say that news of the world that have gone defunct made Dan Woodson the monster that he is. I disagree with that. He made himself the monster that he is, not anybody else. It was him, his own actions as a grown man. He wasn't a teenage boy doing this stuff. He was in his 30s and 40s. Very different, guys. Very different indeed. But GB News now being faced with these allegations from their chief executives is definitely shocking. Not one, not two, but three cases of sexism, racial discrimination, emails that were used to fire colleagues instead of actually, you know, helping them, no HR to really support them damning article that will be linked in the bio below do let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this subscribe to the channel click that button it is daily and consistent content and i'll catch you guys soon for another video